Hi, welcome to my channel Big Data Simplified and my YouTube URL is youtube.com slash hadoop big data. So the topic what we're going to discuss for today is Spark Lens. So Spark Lens is a profiling tool. So we have to integrate this with Spark. So Spark Lens is kind of a profiling which used to explain as what happened in the background with respect to the performance and, and monitoring kind of stuff. So uh, I, I, as I told you, it's a, it's a kind of a profiling tool which will tell you the estimated start time and completion time and how much memory is wasted and how much is really used. So all these information will be there. So with this information as an engineer, I can able to uh, tune my Spark uh, jobs based on the profiling information what I get. So most of the companies, they are using the Spark Lens which is got integrated with their application and Spark Lens is not going to fetch more a resource a lot of resource from your job or your ram kind of stuff so it's a very lightweight application invented by a kobol it's an it's a cloud based company so they have invented this so i am going to explain or uh, before getting into it so spark lens is one of the suggest a uh, profiling tool which used to monitor your execution of the job in the background that gives you the information as a, as, a, as a output file so that you can refer so i'll tell you where you can get all that information once you integrate the spark lens with your application so uh, I'm, I'm just going to show you the demo so you can you you need to have spark installed before you start with this okay so i'm using spark 2.4 you can use any version of 2x and i'm going to show you this example with spark shell so i'm going to start my spark shell along with that you have to use the package which is by uh, uh, Kyobal and the spark lens package and you have to give this configuration these two parameters are very important so i will i will tell you how to do the same in spark submit as well so i'm going to so show you the spark lens integration with wordcon program so the agenda is not the program it's it's, it's the agenda is just to show you the demo in spark i'm sorry Oh, sorry okay so i will just clear the screen i just paste here okay so counts dot collect okay so once you complete so it it, it it does with the word count and once this is done you you just need to quit your uh, repel that is you just need to come out from your shell uh, so when you kill it so spark lens will give you all the profile information only after you complete your job that means in shell you have to close your spark context so i'm just coming out from my shell and you can see a lot of information has just got popped out in my terminal so if you if you just uh, go through all these right so it will give you a lot of information about um, uh, what is the estimated time of the job to get complete and and how much memory has been wasted and how much executors with what memory it has been spent everything will be there but i'm going to make a separate video to explain all the uh, properties of spark lens and what is this the properties are mainly used for so this video is just to show you how to integrate uh, the spark lens and you can see like uh, see we have S executor one executor two three four five so i, I just got and five executors for this job so it, it just says the estimated cluster utilization and the estimated time that it has taken to complete the job so here i will also uh, show you how to uh, use the same in spark submit so in some uh, production environment right so you cannot use iphone iphone packages that means uh, i will just uh, okay so you cannot you you can even pass this with your spark submit but this is not allowed it because in some production you will be having the security thing aspect so it won't download anything from the internet okay so in that case what you can do is just go to maven central and then uh, you can uh, search for spark lens and then you will get this page just go to any version and then just download the jar file so now how to frame your spark submit command when you don't have the access to download with the package means so you just download the jar file and then move to your production box or dev box whatever it is and then just give spark hyphen submit hyphen hyphen conf this particular configuration is mandatory and then hyphen hyphen jars then you have to give your spark lens jar path with jar name and then post to that you can give all your uh, uh, jars the program jar file and then driver memory executor memory and those stuffs you can build your spark submit command with 
with your complete set but you need just need to include this conf uh, sparklens conf and then the jar file and if you are submitting this in yawn right so where can you see the log is once you completed your uh, uh, spark submit with your spark jar file with the spark lens go to your yawn and then just click that uh, particular application id and then you will you just click logs and inside logs under std out you will be seeing the uh, uh, spark lens informations so i have i have not integrated yawn as of now and that's why i'm just telling this point in theory so i just repeat it again so once you submit this in yawn just go to your yawn ui which is 8088 and whatever the custom port that you have configured for yawn just go to it just click the application id and then log and inside log under std out you will be getting all this information so end of the day engineer has to use this information just to enhance the performance of the spark applications okay so when we use when we don't use such profiling tools right in real time we don't know what memory utilization is actually required so i give executor memory as 10 gb but actually my application is used only 5 gb that means the balance 5 is something i'm just allocating it uh, unnecessarily to my application so that that needs to be get freed so that other teams and other queue people can use it right so that's a main important thing and it's very easy to integrate as i told you i'll make a separate video to explain you what the spark lens properties are all about so thanks for watching just do subscribe my channel and for this